Welcome back to the channel where we live life, live free, and live our dreams. I always had the illusion of what a millionaire's lifestyle would be like. Living in a big house, driving an expensive sports car, and eating at the finest restaurants. Then I became a millionaire, and this illusion was shattered. I'm sitting on our balcony, enjoying my morning coffee, admiring the view of the South China Sea, and the sounds coming from the lush tropical surroundings. My new wife was still sleeping when I started to reflect on things. My life now is so different compared to what it was like back in 2018, when on May 1st, 2018, I decided to pack it in and walk away from the rat race. I liquidated everything, cashed out, and decided to live a simpler lifestyle. Before that date, friends and family told me I was living the American dream. I owned my own business, lived in a nice house on the water, drove a really nice car, had investments, and several rental properties. I had worked very hard to get to this position in my life, and I was working even harder just to maintain it. Several weeks prior to that date, I sat down with my accountant to review everything. After several minutes, my accountant looked up at me from their computer, smiled, and congratulated me. That was the moment I was informed I am now officially a millionaire. I had not only crossed that magical number that everyone strives to reach, I had left it behind in the distance. The funny thing was, it never felt like I was now in that club. The fact is, I didn't like the feeling it gave me at all. I felt a feeling of emptiness, and here is why. I was equity rich and cash poor. The money was going out just as fast as I was making it, just so I could maintain a certain lifestyle and to keep things afloat. It didn't matter how much money came in. As soon as it came in, it went out. The statement of the more you make, the more you spend is so true. I was living proof of that. I owned what most would consider to be a small business with several employees. I was hands-on in my business on every level. I had several employees that I looked after very well and made sure they had the best working environment that I could provide. I also viewed my employees, my biggest asset. They were invaluable to me. My business would take anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week to manage and run on average, sometimes more. I also had four rental properties with a total of seven units that I looked after in addition to my business responsibilities. Every time I turned around, there was either a problem with a building needing something or a problem with a tenant. I was doing it all myself as I couldn't afford to have someone else manage it for me. My typical day would start at 7 a.m. and I would go until 8 or 9 p.m. eating when I could on the go. I did this from Monday to Saturday. Sunday, I would give myself the luxury of sleeping in until 8 a.m. Sunday, I would then spend most of the morning catching up on things around the house. The afternoon was spent getting ready for the week ahead. I would then relax Sunday evenings for a few hours and watch some TV. That was basically my life as a millionaire. All I did was work and not much else. That was my normal schedule. For about 10 years, when my family went on vacation unless it was a weekend trip, I stayed back to work to keep everything afloat. It felt like I was always walking a tightrope. It felt like everything was always on the verge of crumbling and then coming crashing down, and my family would lose everything and we would be out on the street. I viewed it as I was being a great provider for my loved ones. I would sacrifice anything for them, and I did. The stress and my health issues at the time I felt were the price I had to pay to be this great provider. The truth is, I was chasing the numbers in the bank account. No matter what the balance was, it was never enough. I was blind to my true net worth, but I always felt like I could still do a bit more. And what I was already doing just wasn't enough in my mind. My loved ones deserved everything I could give them. Back in 2015, at the height of all this, my wife was working right by my side, helping me. Together we sacrificed and worked so we could then enjoy ourselves in retirement. Retirement was still 15 years away for us. Then she was diagnosed with terminal cancer and passed several months later. Shortly before she passed, we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk, and she asked me, why was I always gone, working? I replied, to give you the best life possible. Her response changed my life forever. All she said to me was, all I ever wanted was you. Then it hit me hard. She didn't want any of the things I worked so hard to give her. The only thing she wanted was me, and I never gave her me. She passed about a week later. After my wife passed, my response to this was to just work more. 
It took me until May 1st, 2018 to finally open my eyes. I looked around my empty house and simply asked myself that one word question of why I had everything I wanted. Why couldn't I enjoy it? I had family and friends. Why wasn't I spending time with them? I had success. Why wasn't I enjoying the success I had worked so hard for? And the best one? Why wasn't I just enjoying life? All of these questions I answered with just one word, work. That's when I decided to call it quits, put everything up for sale, and start on a new life path. May 1st, 2018 was also the day I gave up on trying to impress others with what I had. I walked away from it all to live life, live free, and live my dreams, to live a simple life of happiness. That was my life as a millionaire. All I did was work just to maintain the illusion of a certain lifestyle of success. In doing this, I made a lot of sacrifices and paid the price, which was too big of a price to pay, in my eyes. Though I could afford to live that certain lifestyle, I put myself in a position where I wasn't able to enjoy it, as I always wanted more. And in order to get more, I worked more, and my loved ones paid the price. I now live on literally $24,000 a year. But after deciding to move abroad, my cost of living has been reduced even more. I will do another video of my cost of living with my current situation. But this is how my life turned out after walking away from the rat race, and I stopped chasing the American dream. After being a widow for nine years, I eventually relocated to the Philippines, where I found my soulmate and remarried, and couldn't be happier. I moved to a small beachside community, just a minute walk from the beach in the South China Sea. We live a nice, comfortable, relaxed lifestyle where we have everything we need. I now reside in a home and not a house. We wake up in the morning and we ask ourselves, what do we want to do instead of waking up trying to figure out the things I have to do. We pay cash for all of our living expenses, which is now only 35% of our income, and we have no debts at all. Living like this enables us to do what we want, when we want. We stay home most evenings, not because we have to get up early in the morning for work. We stay home because we want to enjoy the evening together. It's the same for when we dine at home, instead of going to a restaurant every night. I used to go to restaurants six days a week because I didn't have the time to cook. Now we cook because we have the time. It's the same for work. Yes, we both still work, but the difference is we now work because we want to, not because we have to or are obligated to do so by a company boss or customer. We also donate our work income to local charities. I no longer have the health issues I had previously. I am no longer overweight or require meds for high blood pressure and cholesterol. I'm not on any meds at all. We now spend 50% of our income on things we want to do and enjoy. I feel we now live such a rich and full life on less than 10% of what I used to earn compared to my previous life, where work was my life. I now sleep much better as my mind isn't working on problems while I sleep. My life has done a 180 degree turnaround. I now enjoy a quality of life and freedom. Since making my transition to a simpler lifestyle and drastically reducing my cost of living, I found I work very little because due to activities, I don't have the time for work and work is no longer a priority for me. I do things when I want to, not when I have to or am obligated to, unless it's a request from my wife, which is different. I live my life not seeking others' approval or judgment. I now have a life compared to wishing I had a life. I now live a simpler life that isn't complicated by a drive to overachieve just to impress others with what I have, but don't have the time to enjoy. I now chase the richness of life instead of the numbers in the bank account. I answer to myself and my wife and not to anyone else. At the height of my career, I was told friends envied me when I decided to drastically change my life. They couldn't understand why and told me I was crazy and laughed behind my back. Now, most have told me that they live their life through us. If you find yourself Prioritizing work before anything else. Putting friends and family aside. To climb the corporate ladder. Leaving your partner eating dinner alone. To stay late to finish that work assignment. Unnecessarily missing family and social events for work. Working. And not being properly compensated for it. Taking pride in being a company person. 
You go above and beyond to seek your boss's and co-worker's approval more than your partner's. Then just ask yourself this one-word question. Why are you doing this for the better of the company, yourself, or your family? If you answer your family, I will tell you this. All your family wants and needs is just you. If you want to be wealthy and enjoy the finer things in life, explore the riches that life can offer you. Stop being concerned with how others view your success and what you have and or don't have. Wealth is open to interpretation and so are the finer things in life. Wealth is just a perception of how these things are viewed and perceived. Myself, I enjoy living simpler, but I'm also living larger, and I feel like I am the richest man in the world. I'm Shane, and thanks for watching. And always remember to live life, live free, live your dreams.